Well, the V-22 is the first full production tail rotor aircraft. Uh, it's made by Bell Boeing Corporation. Uh, we actually just went over 100,000 flight hours as an airframe uh, just last month or so. Um, and it was actually our squadron that broke the 100,000 hour mark. Uh, what we're able to do that no other platform can is, you know, is convert from a helicopter to an airplane uh, in mid-flight mid uh, and then back into a helicopter for landing, allowing us to go to spots that similar uh, type airplanes can't go to. The V-22 has been around for quite a long time and under development since the early 80s. Uh, it actually did its first operational stuff around 2005. Uh, VMM-263, one of our sister squadrons, uh, deployed was the first to deploy with it to Iraq. Uh, since that time, there's been several other deployments to Iraq, and now we're the third squadron deployed to OEF uh, in support of the troops here. Our whole mission as a VMM is to support the troops that are out there all around Helmand Province and around the battle space, bringing them what they need, uh, doing tactical operations as well. Uh, in support of uh, building uh, a substantial government here in Afghanistan that can be an ally to us in the future. Well, our squadron puts up about two V-22s every day, almost all day. Uh, so, and that is a testament to the hard work of our maintainers. Uh, we're taking, we take off here around as early as six, seven in the morning, flying until zero two, zero three at night, uh, just moving all sorts of supplies, people all around. On given days, we'll do tactical operations uh, in conjunction with ground troops, uh, moving them so that they can interface with the people and counteract whatever the enemy is doing out here in terms of counterinsurgency. I'm John Cedarholm, a V-22 tilt rotor crew chief, and I'm from Gaithersburg, Maryland. I'm a V-22 tilt rotor crew chief. I ensure that the plane is ready and configured for the mission at hand. I ensure that personnel and cargo are safely and efficiently boarded and unloaded from the aircraft and make sure we don't get shot down by the enemy here. Every time the aircraft flies, we, uh, we have a two-person crew in the back, two crew chiefs. Uh, I personally fly about four, uh, five times a week. When we're up in the air, we maintain a constant lookout pattern, ensure that no one is trying to shoot at us, and if they are, we uh, maneuver to prevent from actually receiving fire. Uh, we ensure that the airplane is, is healthy. It doesn't uh, experience any malfunctions, mechanical or electrical, that may cause it to crash. And uh, keep the pilots company. This airplane is the new medium assault support platform for the Marine Corps. It means that it does everything the Marine Corps needs in terms of transporting troops and cargo. Uh, and in that respect, it's probably the most important air asset the Marine Corps has. It can insert troops. Uh, quickly and safely at any point during the day, to be a day or night. Um, it can transport mission critical equipment any place in the world. Uh, it can fly like an airplane, as fast as an airplane, as safely as an airplane, as high as an airplane, and uh, it can land in any zone that a uh, helicopter can land on. Uh, the importance of the crew chief, in my opinion, is that it's a, uh, a very important task. Uh, it's a very important piece of the crew, uh, without it, I think you'd see a lot more aircraft shot down, you'd see a lot more mishaps involving personnel and cargo, and uh, a lot more people would be hurt, so I, I believe it's pretty important.